Morning guys, I am just uh, sitting here doing something that I have not done in a very long time and that's search for recipes on the internet. Try to figure out what I want to eat for meal prep this week because I'm not having taco tray and that is a scary thought. <laughs> but I am excited to have something different. I'm either leaning toward like a Big Mac casserole or Mississippi pie roast. I really don't know. I'm trying to work my way up into this casserole. I already know how to make the Mississippi pot roast, which is barely having to do anything, which is really appealing right now. <laughs> but that would also involve more elements such as side dishes and things like that, whereas this casserole could sort of be an all-in-one, like I have to figure out my macros and all that stuff. So I'll definitely let you know when I decide. I'm on the fence. I'm trying to do my zip fish shake, so I need to fill my cup up with ice, but my ice maker won't let me be great. And it's doing that thing where like, you press it and you could tell a piece of ice is stuck in there and like it won't let any ice come through. Listen. Two thousand years later. Nothing's happening. Just a whole bunch of churning going on. So then you gotta do that obligatory thing where you like try to poke the ice and dislodge it and then just like a flood of ice comes running out of your freezer like crossing my fingers. There's like a huge block of ice. How did a block of ice get stuck in the ice machine? And now comes a man to help. Oh Good morning, honey buns. Good morning. It's really lodged in there. It's all gonna come rushing out. That's what she said. <laughs> there we go. Oh God. Oh, wait a minute. See, look. We made, look. We, we made an ice baby. <laughs> it's a girl. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Well, I heard you in here working, so I was like, this must be hard. It was My so hard. It was so hard. Here are our dogs roaming the wilderness, aka our backyard. Oh, Maddie. Oh, no, Maddie. Maddie. Madeline. Come on, Maddie. Come on, you guys. Come on, Milton. No, that is the wrong way. Come on, Milton. Come on, boy. Good boy. Milton, no, don't get distracted. Come on, good boy. Okay, guys, I decided to call an audible. Like, I just kind of ran out of time this morning and don't really have time to exercise, so I've decided to still be productive, and I'm editing a video for my sister's YouTube channel. If you didn't know, my sister decided to stop jocking my style, and she finally started a YouTube channel of her own, although it is called Watch Amber, which is a direct derivative of the names of my YouTube channels. Like, that's okay. But her channel is all about self-love and empowerment, and improvement and stuff like that. And I actually shot a video for her channel. She did the majority of the editing. I'm really proud of everything she's learned about editing videos. She did the majority of the editing, but I kind of just go in there and, and clean up and do all the little final touches for her. So I'm gonna do that until it's time for my live. And then we're going grocery shopping. And then I'm meal prepping. And then I'm coming back and exercising. I am exercising. It'll be delayed, but not denied. Hello. Yeah, we might have free time on Sunday now, but like when the shop reopens, I'll have to go back to the shop. When true. football season comes on, I'll be watching football. So we can't, <laughs> like we can't awesome. think that Sunday is this open free day. So I gotta yes. start pitching stuff off of Sunday uh, as quickly as possible. Treva, you'll be excited to hear this. I'm going with Mississippi pot roast for meal prep this week. Uh, completely different from Taco Bowl. I am, however, so having a lot of elements of, not elements of Taco Bowl, but still the same. Like, still my Bulletproof Coffee, still my Cello Wisps, still my Chocolate Fat Bombs. Like, everything surrounding still the main meal will the be the same. The same regimen. Yeah, except it'll just be like a different entree. Thug life. Ooh. Look at your glove. You look like OJ. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, I just got back from a three and a half mile walk. It took an hour. I finished The Alchemist, it was great. Now I'm moving on to a book called Think and Grow Rich. It's like a self-help, personal development sort of book. So I am excited to start that. My roast is in the crock pot. I love recipes like that. Cause all you gotta do is set it and forget it. The only thing I have left to do is make my chocolate coconut fat bombs like I did last week and I'll be done. And just in case anyone was thinking that my husband was a nice man, uh, here is this mound of festive Rice Krispie treats that he made just for no reason. That is some sort of torture there. Yep, so they're just sitting here in my kitchen for no reason at all. Lucky I love that guy, but like, for real, for real, for real, the cruelty. anything so let's see what this is oh my god cardboard paper okay what is this oh my gosh I have been seeing so many Instagram stories about this this is the chocolate peanut butter hero bars okay they have tons of other hero bar flavors they have that chocolate caramel they have that vanilla something or the other they have that one with fruit in it I don't care but this is the newest one and everything that I've seen on the interweb says that it tastes like a candy bar. Now people be tripping because I've seen some people be like, tastes just like a Reese's. And then other people be like, tastes just like a Snickers. And then other people be like, tastes just like a Kit Kat. And I'm like, y'all need to get it together because I need to know which one this tastes like. But now I'm gonna be able to find out for myself. I'm not trying them right now because they don't fit into my macro. So I'm really proud at the restraint that I am exercising. But like, I am really, really excited to try these. Also, I'm probably gonna include these and anyone that orders a shirt from the website, you guys know that Quest sent me a bunch of different flavored regular bars, but I'm gonna bless some people with these brand new news, you know what I'm saying? So I am excited to try these and I'm excited to send them out. Shut up, Dance! You're doing too much. Y'all, my husband done finally opened this uh, ninja foodie that we got for our wedding and now it's all like, giving off special beeps and codes and stuff. And I'm personally a little worried. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Look how large this is. Like, what is happening right now? Boil, boiling what? Boiling what? You're so beautiful, <laughs> but this is a monstrosity. It's amazing. No, it's yeah. not amazing. Okay, it's boiling. That's the countdown until it's official. Until it actually boils it's, something? It's, it's steaming up to pressure cook. So oh no. It's building up pressure. Oh no. So yeah. we got a bomb in the house? Oh I'm not even gonna be able to use that. Oh my YouTube would flag it for oh advertiser my friendly. Oh my, oh my god. Okay guys, I am done with bill prep. Let's take a look. First of all, you guys, look at this delicious roast. I know you might be thinking like, ooh, Autumn, that looks a little dark. But you know me, you know how I love some crispy, tough, chewy meat. And boy, that is the crispiest, toughest, chewiest. Like, I have sampled way more of this today than I should have, but this is delicious. Okay, but I'm starting off the day like I normally do with cello wisps and almonds. Next, I'm having my coffee. You guys, I finally found unsweetened chocolate almond milk. I've been looking for unsweetened chocolate almond milk for like the past month. I've been having to use vanilla lately. It's not bad, but like, I definitely stocked up on these today. To be honest, I only bought two because I didn't want to be one of those like hoarders who bought all seven of them, but still, part of me really wanted to. Chocolate almond milk, heavy whipping cream, butter, that chocolate collagen. Don't forget, you can use the code WAC10 on Preferred Keto's website for 10% off. Some sweetener, that's gonna be delicious. And then for my main meal, I am having this delicious Mississippi pot roast with one and a half outer aisle gourmet sandwich thins. Uh, there are six in a pack and four meal prep, so I have to eat uh, one and a half <laughs> to use the whole thing. 
And along with that, I am having a lot of themes from Taco Tray. I'm still just loving this lettuce. Like, even if I put the roast on this lettuce, I love the taste of lettuce. And I still got some guacamole left over from last week, so I have to use that. So I'm gonna dip some pork rinds in it, so that's gonna be great. And then finally, finishing up with these same chocolate coconut fat bombs that I made last week. And then we got Jello and Sprite. And then I also have some diet ginger ale this week, which makes me very happy. Like, oh my gosh, I am stepping back. Look at this masterpiece, yes! Okay guys, I cannot wait to try all this stuff uh, for my What I Eat Wednesday video. Be sure to tune in. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Meal Prep today and I'll catch you next week. Bye!